Uh, hello, good morning. First of all, I would like to say thank to the tribunal member for reviewing my thesis and coming for my presentation, and also to my friends and colleagues for coming today. And my name is uh, Amin Mosini. I've done my master in architecture, and then I continued my study in this department. And I would like to present my thesis entitled Sustainability in the Post-Disaster Temporary Housing Management uh, for Urban Areas under supervising Dr. De La Fuente and Dr. Pons. Let me start my presentation by explanation of the displaced population suffering, who lost everything that they had in the few seconds after natural disaster. They lost their homes, their belongings, their relatives, everything. Imagine you lose everything in a few seconds, and you don't have any place for crying, for dreaming, and surviving yourself. The question is, what, we, what did we do as an expert of the building industry for modifying the displaced population suffering? I have to answer. Nothing, unfortunately. In the best situation, we donate to the charities and NGOs, but the NGOs normally they don't know a, a lot about uh, local requirements and concerns and conditions. To this end, <coughs> they follow unsuitable strategy and waste a lot of material and money and time. The number of displaced population who remained from previous recovery programs demonstrates this fact. In 2015, there are many displaced population who remain from previous recovery programs, not only in the underdeveloped countries, even in the developing and developed countries. For instance, in Japan, in 2015, there are 200,000 displaced population who remain from earthquake in 2011. Some of the displaced population <coughs> are waiting for the uh, uh, temporary housing, uh, for the permanent housing, more than 10 years, like Indonesia case. <coughs> to understand the importance of the, this issue, we need to consider that the population of the cities prone to the natural disaster increased from 2000 to 2015 almost three times. Additionally, we need to consider the increasing of the uh, urban population compared to the rural uh, population. Meanwhile, the characteristics of the urban area and rural area are completely different and there are very few studies that focused on the uh, recovery program of the urban areas. <coughs> to this end, we need to increase our knowledge for dealing with the natural disaster, especially in the urban area. But what is the main requirement of the displaced population after natural disaster? Normally, displaced population after natural disaster need temporary housing. Who lost their homes because of the natural disaster need to live somewhere during the construction of the permanent housing. This type is called uh, temporary housing. Temporary housing in general can be categorized into two main groups. Uh, available accommodation like host family rental units and etc. And not available accommodation that uh, needs to be uh, constructed like units, uh, shipping containers, and other options. The, object, uh, the objective of this study is not available accommodation that is called also as a temporary housing units. But what is the main problem of the temporary housing units? Temporary housing units in general is a critical issue in terms of the sustainability concept, economic, social, and environmental aspects. Why temporary housing has a uh, sustainability problem? In general, construction industry leads to consume a lot of material and energy and also uh, gas emissions. We need or we have to add this situation under emergency situation. After natural disaster, decision makers are forced to provide huge amount of temporary housing in the short time. 
that this caused to increase the negative impact of the temporary house. But the question is, with regard to the uh, negative impact of the temporary housing units, why temporary housing units have been used in the most previous recovery program in the last decades in around all the world? We have to say, decision makers faced to the huge amount of displaced population and their pressure to have, uh, to have a, a temporary housing. Sometimes under bad climate conditions and lack of another options instead of temporary housing units and avoiding to migrate the displaced population to the another areas. They, they were forced to use temporary housing units. To this end, uh, we have the natural disaster. We know that natural disaster cannot be cancelled. We need the temporary housing for the displaced population, for settling the displaced population, and temporary housing has a, a negative impacts. To this end, we designed this study to uh, assess the temporary housing characteristics to reduce uh, its negative impact. The main obje objective of this study is to propose a platform for the decision makers in the city, cities prone to the natural disaster for dealing with the natural disaster or recovery program. This platform should be adaptable and flexible to the local conditions based on the sustainability concept by considering uh, all stakeholders' concepts. The specific objective of this study is uh, designing four models for selecting a general strategy of the temporary uh, recovery program, uh, site selection, set up site selection, and uh, temporary housing units technology. To this end, we consider diverse studies and we analyze five case study to detect the main problem of the temporary housing. We found a lack of precise information and decision making mistakes is, are the main problem of the temporary housing and site location and units technology are the main factor of the te uh, temporary housing that could be uh, result, resulted in many negative impacts. For the first part, we uh, define and organize all elements and uh, in interconnections in the different groups to simplify the problem. Then, besides the initial literature review, we consider uh, different studies to, de uh, to determine sustainability <coughs> requirements of the temporary housing units. Then, uh, we assess different decision-making methods to determine the most suitable one and uh, their requirements. This part of uh, my study that considers sustainability of the temporary housing management in the urban area is called descriptive. Based on the derived information from descriptive part, detected problems, requirements, and definition, we designed four models as a general strategy, site location, set of site location, and unit uh, temporary housing units technology to solve the problem. This part of the study is named operational fix. In general, we tried to detect the problems and reasons and divide the problem to the small parts uh, to simplify the problem and uh, uh, propose uh, models or uh, answers to the, this problem. For the weight assignment system, we applied AHP analytic hierarchy process and channels and trophy. To evaluate sustainability of the alternatives, we applied MIGAS and we used the knapsack algorithm to determine uh, a set with a, a specific characteristic. Also, we applied the LCA for the temporary housing units technology. In the first section of the uh, descriptive part, integrated approach. This uh, section takes into account to solve one of the main problems of the temporary housing or recovery problem. One of the main problems of the, uh, uh, this part is the difficulties, difficulties of the uh, solution for the decision makers. To this end, we define the uh, main requirements of the recovery program and differences between uh, different strategies 
by analyzing the five cases studies and define and organizing all the elements in the three main groups and uh, propose a choice space for the uh, analyzing the uh, case study, we, cons we assessed the earthquake after uh, uh, after uh, in the Turkey in uh, 1999, the earthquake in Iran, uh, recovery program of earthquake in Iran 2003, uh, earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia 2004, flood and hurricane in United States United States 2005, and lucky earthquake in 2009. We assessed. Uh, all characteristics of the old term, uh, housing after uh, these uh, natural disasters based on the times and the other characteristics that completely have been explained in my thesis. In this area, we, can, we assess the input data and outcomes and in, impacts to clarify the connections or uh, reasons of the, these outcomes and impact that's, that this is the mislink in the previous studies. We define all characteristics, elements, and interconnection in the three main groups, local characteristics, post-disaster housing properties, and natural disaster impacts. Uh, in this regard, in this section, we found that temporary housing stage can, uh, cannot be cancelled. Even we can use another type of the temporary housing instead of temporary housing units. And the elements of the temporary housing that we uh, categorize in three um, main groups can have diverse impact on the different uh, uh, recovery programs and different areas based on the different uh, local condition and concerns, even sometimes antithetical impacts on the different. Then we design the choice phase and decision-making algorithm. In the choice phase, to simplify the problem for the decision makers, we organize all the elements of the not available temporary housing and available temporary housing in three main phases of the temporary housing as a designing, implementation, and operation, and second life with their interconnection. We designed the decision making algorithm is a general algorithm for dealing with a natural disaster. This algorithm includes two parts. The first part is the filtering that takes into account to determine initial alternatives by considering the availability and local conditions. Then the second part as a uh, comparing takes, to, takes into account to determine most suitable alternatives based on the sustainability uh, concept uh, among uh, initial uh, obtained alternatives. But from this part, we prepared a paper that entitled an uh, integrated approach for the dealing with the post-disaster accommodation and we submitted in the disaster journal and this paper is under review. The question is, what is the sustainability of the temporary housing that we assess in the second part of the uh, descriptive? To obtain the sustainability of the temporary housing, we need to make a balance between social economic and environmental requirements under emergency service by considering all stakeholders' concerns and requirements. From this, this section, we found that sustainability index can vary from a, another, a one area to the another area based on the different characteristics. And to solve the complex problem, we need to assess uh, local concerns, requirements, limitation and impediments, and the potentials. Additionally, to reduce the human errors, we need to apply the different decision-making methods. But the question is, uh, which uh, decision-making uh, method could be most suitable for dealing with a recovery program that we assess in this section? decision-making method, to, uh, third part of the descriptive. To answer to, answer to this question, which uh, decision-making methods could be suitable for dealing with a natural disaster, we need to answer what is the main requirements of the decision-making process of the recovery programs, or the characteristics of the decision-making. To this end, we consider and we assess 
different decision-making methods that have been used in the previous studies for selecting for site selection and temporary housing selection to derive the main requirements and characteristics of the decision-making process. Then, based on the derived characteristics and requirements of the decision-making process, we analyzed different six uh, decision-making methods to determine a more suitable one. In this regard, we found two factors are very important for dealing with a natural disaster and temporary housing. One of them is utility theory, and the other one is the weight assignment system. Based on these main factors, we uh, found MIVES method is the most suitable decision-making method for dealing with the natural disaster and recovery programs, based on the, its characteristics. The integrated value model for sustainable assessment, in Spanish, MIVES, embraces the value function based on the utility theory. This method is created by Professor Antonio Aguado and the other university of uh, Spanish university. MIVES uh, has a three requirement three, including the requirements, criteria, and indicators. That indicators should be computable. To obtain the value, uh, satisfaction value of each indicator, we, uh, we need to apply four steps according to the uh, experts of the MIVES. At the first step, we need to define or specify the trend of the value function increasing or decreasing. In the second uh, part, we need to specify x min and x max, or in other words, uh, minimum satisfaction and maximum satisfaction. That, then we have to uh, deter, uh, determine the uh, shape of value function as a convex, concave, uh, convex, S-shape, or linear, then uh, apply the for, uh, formula of the minus. For the assigned weight to the uh, indicators, criteria, and requirements, we use AHP in seminars hmm. by experts. Additionally, in this uh, dissertation, we use Shannon's entropy as well. The first section of the uh, operation of phase is a step scenario strategy. A step scenario uh, a strategy has been designed to solve one of the main problems of the temporary house housing. This problem occurs when decision makers are forced to change their initial uh, strategy to the another strategy. However, normally displaced population in this situation receive uh, most suitable uh, temporary housing in terms of the quality. This action uh, results uh, a lot of uh, material, uh, uh, based on the material and time. This situation happened, happened in Iran after a bad earthquake. Decision makers at the first time decided to erect temporary housing in the campsite, but as the uh, this, uh, displaced population rejected this type of uh, temporary housing in the campsite, they changed their uh, decision maker and the uh, decision and provide the temporary housing in the yard of previous housing of the displaced population. In Aceh, in uh, Indonesia in 2004, Emergency managers at the first time decided to apply the tent as a temporary shelter and temporary housing for the displaced population. How, uh, but uh, tent could not stand the tropical uh, climate condition and sun, and they were compelled to change their decisions to, the, to use, of, uh, to use uh, temporary uh, housing for uh, settling displaced population. But what is the step scenario strategy? The step scenario strategy is formed based on the very logical and simple decision making process. Imagine we have a table and there are different small plates of the tapas in this table. People normally start with the tapas 
that they like this tapas more than the other tapas. When this interesting tapas is finished, people start to eat another tapas. This is a very logical decision making, decision -making process. But normally, or sometimes, emergency managers don't apply this uh, logical process. Mm. To this end, we designed a step scenario. And the uh, Y axis, we have the sustainability, ex, uh, sustainability index and uh, X axis displays population number. And we assume that the host family has a, a maximum sustainability index and temporary housing units as a minimum sustainability index, as an example of the uh, step scenario. At the first step, we apply to uh, provide the temporary housing for the displaced population by the option that has a maximum sustainability index. In this section, we have to apply the host family. If the host family can cover all the displaced population, it's perfect. If not, we go to the another step to use another type with a lower sustainability index compared to the first one and higher sustainability index compared to the other alternatives. We continue this uh, action until covering all the displaced population. This is the concept of the uh, step scenario strategy. To this end, we designed the methodology for this part based on the sustainability concept and uh, local, uh, local conditions, availability of the temporary housing options and uh, this place, uh, population number. This, is uh, this uh, methodology is designed for uh, applying after natural disaster by few experts uh, rapidly to determine the initial alternatives. Then we designed the main uh, criteria of this part and we organized them in the economic, social and environmental group that these criteria and their indicators completely explain in the, my thesis and I, I pass from this mm -hmm. part. For the analyzing, we analyzed the BAM in terms of the private yard and private yard and campsite. For the weight assignment system for the indicators, we use the seminars by HP, Shannon, and Trophy and equal weights for the all indicators by considering different 22 uh, weight scenario for the uh, requirements, economic, so, uh, social, and environment. The results demonstrate that private yard, in the case of the bank, without any doubt, should be the first step of the, uh, uh, our uh, strategy. Because uh, private yard uh, has been selected almost by the, all the different weights and techniques. We can say if the decision makers of the bank applied this model, mm -hmm. they, could understood, they could understand at the first time they applied the private yard for the erecting the test, uh, temporary housing. If there were no enough uh, uh, private yard in the bank, then they can uh, go to the, uh, they could go to the next step as a campsite and provide the temporary housing to council. In the HA, we consider the tents and temporary housing units. The results demonstrate choosing frequency of the temporary housing units is 65%. But uh, we need to assess more uh, by the different weights and the sustainability index of the temporary housing and the tents. In this area, we can see in the figure when the weight of the social increase, units become the most suitable alternatives, and when the weight of the economic uh, increase, tends obtain high sustainability. It means if decision makers of the uh, action has uh, had more concerns about the social requirements, they should apply first with the units and then with the tents. If they had more concerns about the economy, they should choose tents and in the second part, units. From this part, we prepare the paper 
entitled Post-Disaster Temporary Housing a Step Scenario Strategy for Choosing Sustainable Solution and we published in the Housing and the Built and uh, submitted in the Housing and, and the Built Environment and this paper is under review. And second part of the operation, please. One of the main problems of the temporary housing, or now we can say the main problem of the temporary housing is site selection. Because the improper site selection had many negative impacts on the uh, stakeholder satisfaction in the previous recovery program, such as Turkey, Iran, Italy, United States in 2005, and also in Japan with a lot of experiences in the recovery programs. To this end, we designed a model to determine a more suitable alternative site based on the sustainability, sustainability concept. We designed a methodology. This methodology contains two parts. The first part and the first part includes the local condition requirements and a stakeholders definition to determine initial alternative sites. Then we apply the MIVES to evaluate sustainability index of the each, in each, uh, each alternative from the uh, initial alternative site to determine the most suitable sites. In this regard, we apply the Tehran as a case study. Tehran is the capital of the Tehran with 8 million population, around 6 times more than Barcelona, or 5 or 6. Tehran uh, is formed by the 22 uh, districts that we can the borders of the districts on the map. The area of the Tehran is about 70,000 hectares, almost seven times bigger than Barcelona. There are three main active faults in the north as a, a Mosha and the north faults and in the south as a Ray faults in the Tehran. Tehran is a high seismic, seismic area. The input data of this study is conducted based on the uh, report of the Corporation of Center for Earthquake and Environmental Studies, Studies of the Tehran and Japan International Corporation Agency. These two centers uh, assess uh, casualties and uh, building and uh, damaged buildings and infrastructures and displaced population based on the, uh, earth, uh, based on the earthquake uh, according to the each uh, fault during the day and during the night. We selected four districts of the Tehran as a district two, district three, six and seven that are close, very, they, they are very close to the uh, North Fault and Mosha Fault. Based on the information of the, uh, this corporation, if the earthquake happened due to uh, Mosha faults, we need 100 hectares for settling displaced population if this earthquake happens during the day. Uh, by talking with uh, local experts, we determined six alternatives for this study as a case study. These six alternatives include 23 sites. Uh, four of these, uh, from these six alternatives, we have a four individual sites that the area of the, each site is equal 100 hectare. And we have two sets, set B, that the total area of the sites in the group of the B are, uh, is 100 hectare, and set C, that the total area of the sites in the group C is uh, 100 hectare. Then we designed the requirements tree, including uh, five uh, criteria and nine indicators. Access uh, indicator uh, contains two uh, sub indicators displaced population access and emergency services access. Neighborhood acceptability includes uh, six sub indicator density, a school, green area, hospital, police station, and fire station. Then we analyzed 23 different sites to determine, to obtain the value of each indicator and sub indicators. 
to finally to uh, have a stability index of the, uh, each alternatives. For the weights, uh, we use the uh, AHP by in the seminars with the uh, uh, university professors and the local experts. The results demonstrate that alternative A1 has a maximum uh, sustainability index and alternative A3 uh, has a minimum sustainability index. The other alternatives are ranked between these two. Initial analyzing confirmed that the sites that are located far from the city center, such as site A1 and site A4, have a high value, uh, high, uh, high value of the uh, land price, neighborhood acceptability, and emissions indicators. And the sites that are located in the city center uh, have a high uh, satisfaction, a satisfaction value of the access, uh, access and the population covering indicators. Also, the results demonstrate that sets, though, uh, both sets, set B and set C uh, obtains minimum uh, value of the uh, require, uh, uh, economic requirements and high value of the uh, social requirements. Then we assess different 16 uh, weight scenario for the requirements. As we can see, the A1 that uh, obtained the maximum sustainability almost has a same trend, same trend for the all 16 different. When the social, uh, the weight of the social uh, requirement increased, alternative A2 and alternative C uh, obtain maximum sustainability. To validate the model, we apply different techniques, three techniques, topsis, electro, and sal. Uh, different techniques for assigning the weight to the uh, indicators. We apply the Shannon's entropy with and without considering the decision, maker, decision maker's concerns about the indicator's priority. The result of the, these different techniques with the different techniques and di uh, uh, di this, uh, these different uh, decision making methods and different techniques for the weight demonstrate that alternative A1, C, and B, and A3, they are ranked in the, this place, these places without any doubt because they have selected, have been selected more by these types, almost by all of the methods. Uh, alternative A4 have been, has been selected more <coughs> in the third rank and A2 in the uh, second rank. If we can see the final result of all different uh, decision-making methods and uh, weighting techniques, these results are completely the same as the MIRIS results that prove uh, our designed model. From this part, uh, we prepare the paper as a multi decision-making models for sustainable sites loca site location of the post-disaster temporary housing in the urban area <coughs> that uh, published in the construction, engineering, and management. In this third part of the uh, operational phase, site location. In the previous section, we designed a model to determine the most suitable alternative sites. We had six different alternatives. Four individual sites, that the area of these four individual sites are equal 100 hectares. And we had two sets, set P and set C. The total area of the sites in the set P and set C are equal 100 hectares. Decision makers for selecting the individual sites in the city, they don't have a lot of problems and difficulties because there are limited number of the sites with a specific character, characteristics and area in the, in the city, for example, 100 hectares. There is limited number. 
it is possible to find the initial alternative sum. The problem occurs when decision makers need to have a, a group of sites with a specific area, for example, 100 hectares. In this situation, it is possible to have a, a lot of different group of sites with a specific area. For example, this group of sites, this group of sites, and this group of sites, the total area of all of them is 100 hectares. And it's possible to have a wide range of these sets like this. To this end, we designed a model to determine a, uh, to determine a set of sites with a specific area and maximum sustainability index. We designed a methodology. This methodology includes two parts. First part, based on the local conditions or boundaries, and uh, sustainability requirements, we determine the uh, uh, initial alternative sites. Then, by MIBES and NAP, then we apply the MIBES and NAPSEC algorithm. NAPSEC algorithm is applied to solve a problem like this. We have a uh, backpack with a specific area, a specific limited area, for example, 15 kilograms. And we need to put our stuff in the backpack. Logically and normally, we put our stuff in the backpack that these stuffs are more important for us or they have a, a, high, a higher value. In our problem, the size of the backpack is the demanded area and the value of the stuffs is the sustainability index. Indeed, we apply the knapsack algorithm to determine a group of sites or sets with a specific area and maximum, uh, this set should have a, a maximum sustainability index. To evaluate the sustainability index, we apply the knapsack algorithm. And for the weight assignment system, we apply the AHP in the seminars by expert, Shannon's entropy with and without regard to the assigned weight to the indicators by the experts. Uh, we consider that the uh, case study is uh, like previous case study. It means we need 100 hectares for settling this place population. However, we assume that half of this place population have been settled in, uh, in the uh, large area sites and we need to settle uh, the rest of the displaced population. In this situation, we need a sites with an area equal 50 hectares. We, uh, we selected 19 sites, and the area of these sites is from 2.3 to 40 hectares, and then we uh, designed the knapsack uh, boundaries. The knapsack should, be, should select uh, alternative sites or group of sites that total area of these uh, sites should be 50 hectares or maximum 10% more, and this group should have a maximum sustainability index. For uh, evaluating sustainability in index, we apply the MIPES. The results confirm that each technique introduced different sets. AHP technique uh, results a set including seven sites, a group of sites that including seven sites with a sustainability index of the 0 0.52 and the total area of the, these sites is uh, 50 hectare Shannon's entropy with considering the assigned weight to the indicators by expert introduced the sets B including two sites the sustainability index of the set B is 0 0.60 and uh, the total area of the, these two sites is uh, 53 hectares. Shannon entropy without considering the weight assignment assigned to the indicators by the indicators result set C including two sites with a sustainability index 0 0.69 and the total area of these two sites, site 2 and site 3, is uh, 50 hectares. 
To validate our model, if we apply the weights assigned to the indicators by AHP, we apply these weights for the set B and set, set A, set B and set C to determine, to, to evaluate sustainability index of these three. In this case, the model works correctly if the sustainability index of the A that has been selected by AHP is higher than the other sets. In this case, we apply the assigned weight by the AHP to, the, to determine the sustainability index of the set A, set B, and set C. In the result, we can see the sustainability index of, uh, index of the set A that has been selected by AHP is higher than the other one. When we apply the weight of the SE AHP for uh, obtaining the sustainability index of this three set, the sustainability index of the set B that has been selected by SEAHP is higher, and this fact also is established for the SEN that, that proves that uh, our model works correctly. <clears throat> we found something very interesting. These two different techniques, AHP and Shannon's entropy, use different approaches in terms of the economic requirements to obtain the maximum sustainability. AHP selected a sites with a high value of the indicator 1, land price, and low value of the indicator 2. Meanwhile, uh, Shannon's Entropy selected a sites with a high value of the indicator 2, site preparation cost, and low value of the indicator 1. Then we assess the weights assigned to the indicators and sub-indicators by the AHP, SPAHP, and SPNW. As we can see, AHP uh, assigned the high uh, weight to the indicator 1 from economic requirements, and indicator 8 and indicator 9 from the environmental requirements. SP and W assign the high value, high weights to the sub indicators of the neighborhood acceptability from the social requirements. However, we selected the neighborhood acceptability as an indicator because of its, its importance. We cannot accept that to assign the high weight to, the, this, sub -indi to, to this indicator of the uh, social requirements. Because of this, we rejected the results of the SENW and we assessed the results of the AHP and SEAHP that the decision makers have been involved in the assigning weight systems. To assess the, this different system, we considered 28 different weights uh, scenario for the requirements. We, uh, we found that this uh, AHP technique and SEAHP uh, result different sets uh, beside the set A and set uh, B. However, AHP selects set, e, uh, set A 23 times from 28 times, and uh, SEAHP selects set B 13 times from 28 times. That it means uh, AHP and SEAHP selected in these two sites with a maximum sustainability more than the other set. And the other things we found, some of the sites like site 4, site 6, site 17 and site 19 have been selected uh, more than the other sites by the uh, AHP technique and SEAHP because this uh, four sites has a, a maximum uh, value of the economic and environmental requirements and they have an uh, acceptable uh, value, uh, satisfaction value of the, value of the uh, social requirements. Then uh, we considered the trends of the sustainability index for the results of the uh, SEAHP and uh, in AHP, as, the, as we can see, the result of the SEAHP 
has uh, is higher than uh, AHP for the all, almost 28 different scenarios. From this part, we prepared a uh, paper entitled The Combination of the Knapsack Algorithm and Mindless for Choosing Optimal Complex of the Temporary Housing Site Location, a case of study Tehran, and submitted in the Building and Environmental Journal. And this paper is also under review. And for the last part of the operational phase, we considered a uh, a general strategy for selecting uh, general recovery programs, site selection of the temporary housing. We need to consider or assess the technology of the temporary housing units that have been used in the most previous recovery programs in the last decades. To this end, we designed a model to select the most suitable technology of the temporary housing units based on the sustainability. Uh, concept. We applied the MIVES and we designed a methodology for this. Uh, for the case study, we applied the uh, temporary housing units that applied in the re uh, recovery program after BAM earthquake. In the BAM uh, recovery program, the Housing Foundation and Ministry of Defense of the Iran were responsible to provide the temporary housing units. Then they provide and they suggested and provide uh, different eight alternatives based on the uh, four materials for walls and two materials for roof. Uh, for the walls, uh, autocola aerated concrete block, uh, concrete masonry units, sandwich, uh, 3D sandwich panel, and pressed width panel. And for the roofs, uh, galvanized iron with a four centimeter and two centimeter in thicknesses. Then, we designed uh, requirements uh, three, including six criteria and ten indicators. Risk assistance, risk resistance includes uh, two sub-indicators: natural uh, disaster risk and fire resistance. Comfort consists two sub-indicators: acoustic range and thermal resistance. And acceptability uh, includes. Uh, three sub-indicators, cultural acceptance, skill labor, and flexibility. Then we assess one square meter of the, <coughs> these different alternatives and define uh, and uh, assess the uh, different components of the materials of this technology to determine the uh, value of the each indicators and sub-indicators. Uh, consequently, we have a uh, sustainability index of these uh, different alternatives. For the weight assignment system, we use the AHP in the seminar uh, by the university pro uh, professors and the local experts. The results demonstrate that C and U, concrete masonry unit and press reads, obtain maximum sustainability. The sustainability index of the 3D, sand, uh, 3D uh, panel is very low because of this. We rejected this type and this alternative. And we analyzed these three alternatives, AAC, CMU, and PR. As we can see, the <coughs> most differences of the, these three uh, uh, technologies are related to the environmental requirements. To this end, we consider the indicators of the environmental requirement. AAC obtained minimum satisfaction of value of the energy consumption, and CMU obtains a minimum satisfaction value of the water consumption indicator. However, water consumption during the construction is very few compared to the operation phase based on the paper of the Professor Antonio and Oreo is 0.01% uh, of the all life of the temporary, uh, all the building, the cycle of the buildings. Because of this, we, because of this, we eliminated this type and we considered the CMU and pedestrians to determine the most suitable alternatives. 
We consider different weight assignment system. As we can see, the CMU for the most of the different weights of the requirements obtains a maximum sustainability index. Because of this, we, <coughs> we selected the uh, concrete masonry weights as the most uh, suitable alternative. From this part, we published a paper in the Sustainable Cities and Society that entitled Multi-Criteria Decision-Making Methods for Assessing the Sustainability of the Post-Disaster post Temporary Housing Units Technology, uh, a case study in BAM. And finally, the conclusion of the system. We designed <clears throat> four models as a conclusion of this study, a model for selecting a general strategy based on the step scenario, for the site selection based on the MIVAS and three different decision making methods, set of selection by combination of the MIVAS and NAPSAN, and uh, units, uh, uh, temporary housing unit selection by the MIVAS. From these four chapters or four models, we had uh, different uh, results, but we selected some of them to present, uh, to present. To make a proper decision, we need to consider the problem and the response, and completely assess the characteristics of the response based on the different condition. This is one of the very important facts in the dealing with the temporary house. The other one, is sites that had uh, other function prior to selection could obtain a maximum sustainability index. And the other one, the other conclusion that's very important, the assignment system by every uh, technique had, uh, has a considerable impact on the optimal, uh, uh, on the choosing the optimal results. To this end, especially in, for dealing with the recovery uh, program, we need to, uh, to assess or consider the all stakeholders' concerns for the indicator's priority by involving them in the decision-making process and assigned weight systems. And the <clears throat> same, uh, some uh, technology of the temporary housing are not suitable for the temporary housing in the first glance, like as concrete masonry units. But they can obtain the maximum sustainability in this. As a specific conclusion, we can say it is very difficult to establish a direct relationship between the local uh, conditions prior to the national disaster and satisfaction of the all state, uh, stakeholders Site selection in general has a considerable impact on the uh, satisf uh, satisfaction of the uh, all the stakeholders, even more than uh, technology of the temporary housing units. Some parts of the temporary housing units is formed based on the prejudice and needs, and it needs to consider again to clarify the truth. In one of the important things. And for the future study, we aimed to design a platform by detecting the problem, definition of the requirements, simplify the problems, and design the four models, not only for the decision makers, even for the uh, researchers. Based on this, we uh, organized the future research and uh, researchers in two different groups. Ongoing researchers, that one of them is a combination of the MIVAS and GIS to determine the initial alternative sites. A combination of the MI excuse me, a combination of the MIVAS and NAPSEC uh, to consider suitable distribu and distribution of the displaced population in the temporal uh, uh, rental units. And uh, for the continuous research line that could be as a a dissertation or big project is analyzing the suitability of the conventional build and residential building technology for progressing the temporary housing units to the permanent housing 
uh, analyzing the decision making methods, especially weight assignment system for uh, creating uh, more adaptability to the, this issue, and analyzing the impact of the form, shape, and area of the temporary housing units on the sustainability index, and design a model uh, to obtain the optimized uh, temporary housing technology based on the list. Thanks a lot for your attention. At the end, uh, I would like to say I'm grateful for everything that my professors have done, my directors have done during these years. Thanks a lot, Albert. <laughs> and I would like to say a special thanks to the professor Antonio and Sergio for their help. Moreover, I have to say, and I would like to say and thank, and thanks to the Mari Carmen Mendoza that he, uh, he joined us to our groups in the middle of uh, our project, and she improved, uh, she helps to improve, she helped to improve uh, our project, especially in the descriptive parts. And at the end, uh, I would like to say, Especially lovely thanks to my wife. Thank you so much.